Hello, this is Liang Yanhao from the University of Pittsburgh. Today, I will share with you my research, third generation cow-fat modeling of crown nickel alloys. First, I would like to express my appreciation to my advisor Wei Xiong and other collaborators. Also, thanks NSF for providing us financial support. What is cow-fat? It is the abbreviation of calculation of phase diagrams. It uses thermochemical properties and phase equilibrium data as input to model gas free energy of individual phases as a function of composition, temperature, and pressure. Researchers can further use this information to calculate phase fraction and composition, to perform shell simulation under rapid solidification, and to offer essential information to diffusion, precipitation, and mechanical simulations. The CalFed approach has been successfully used to design commercial steel, superalloys, aluminum alloys, and so on. The basis that controls the reliability of the CalFed method is a description of Gibbs free energy. So far, the widely used Gibbs free energy functions are called second generation. But why we develop the third generation cover? Because the second generation cover has some drawbacks. First, it is invalid below 300 K. The calculated heat capacity fails to fit experimental results from 0 to 300 K and non-zero entropy at 0k is also a big challenge. Second, it leads to unexpected kinks for heat capacity and other thermochemical quantities of pure elements. These kinks will further be inherited in solution phase and intermetallic compounds will, will cause some problem during modeling. Third, the magnetic model fields for systems containing elements having different magnetism. For example, BCC crown is antiferromagnetic, while BCC nickel is ferromagnetic. The second generation cover not only fails to reproduce the experimental magnetic transition temperature and magnetic moment, it even predicts magnetism for non-magnetic composition. Then, how the third generation cover solves these problems? First, since the bed fitting at low temperature comes from unphysical polynomials, the third generation brings physics into the gas free energy functions. For solid structure, it considers contributions from coercive energy, that is vibration, and electronic excitation. For liquid, the two-state model considers both amorphous-like and liquid-like states. Now, we can see the heat capacity agree well with experiments down to 0K, and non-zero entropy is removed. Why kinks exist as a melting point is because a second generation Calford only enforces enthalpy, entropy, and heat capacity as the same below and above the melting point. So in the third generation, the first derivative of heat capacity is also forced to be equal below and above the melting point, which ensures that the curve is smooth over the whole temperature range. Finally, the second generation Calva uses a single equation to describe both Curie and new temperatures, while the third generation Calva uses two polynomials to describe these temperatures separately. Therefore, both the antiferromagnetism on crown rich side and ferromagnetism on nickel rich side are properly calculated. More importantly, no magnetism is introduced in the middle compositions. In conclusion, by using advanced physics-informed models, the third generation CalFAD enables trustworthy predictions for low temperature thermodynamics and magnetic phase diagrams. 
It also avoids artifacts in modeling. If you want to learn more details of this topic, please refer to our paper published on CalFAD. Thank you for your attention.